Section 1.2, we are going to talk about measurements and really the metric system. Guys, this is going to go very quick. This is a pretty short section here. And uh, most of you are going to be like, the metric system. Why do we have to do the metric system? When we do measurement science, when we do measurement in science, we are going to talk about the metric system. Now, when we talk about metric units, why do we use the metric system? Well, first off, it's a system used by every other country in the world outside of the United States. So when scientists get together outside of scientists in the United States, right, they want a common way to measure things. So scientists in the United States even use the metric system. Why do we use it? Well, it's also in basis of 100. If I ask anybody real quick in Europe how many how many milliliters are in a liter, they'll say a thousand. If I ask you how many pints are in a quart, anyone can anyone answer how many pints are in a quart? Two. How many quarts are in a gallon? Four. How many pints are in a gallon? Eight. Right. But do you know that it's fast? It's not in bases of 100, so it's a little more complicated. So when we talk about metric measurements, the four units of measurement that we are going to spend some time on, we have length, mass, time, and temperature. And the accompanying metric measurement for length, we measure in meters. Mass, we measure in kilograms. Now, to kind of give you reference points for both of those, a meter is about one yard. Not quite, but about one yard. For kilograms, one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So if you want to figure out how much you weigh in kilograms, take your weight in pounds and divide it by two, and it's going to give you a rough estimate of what you weigh in kilograms. So for example, if I'm 200 pounds, I'm about 100 kilograms. Not quite exact, but it's a good reference point for you guys. Time, we use seconds. That's uh, common sense. We use seconds all around for time, seconds, hours, minutes, but seconds is our base unit. And for temperature, we use Kelvin. Now, you're going to think, well, what's Kelvin? We're going to talk about that later in the year. A lot of times we use Celsius, and Celsius works for mostly everything, but there's this other unit called Kelvin, which we're going to use and talk about. So, the metric system. Why do we have to use it? Well, the metric system is kind of, as I mentioned, it's our base unit for everything. What ha would happen is way, way long ago, people would measure with things that weren't exact. For example, they would measure how tall somebody was with their hands. Well, quickly look at your hand and then look at someone else's hand, like your friend's hand. Are they the exact same size? If I was 20 hands tall and I used your hand, would I be 20 hands tall to your friend's hand? Not exactly. So we needed to have a system of measurement that was the same throughout, and we get the SI unit, or International System of Measurement. And what we have is we have prefixes for these. So for example, if I have one million of something, and one million is 10 to the sixth, that represents mega. So if I have one million meters, a million meters would be a mega meter. If I had 1,000 meters, a thousand meters would be a kilo meter. All right, if I had one one thousandth, which is 10 to, to the negative three, one one thousandth. If I had one one thousandth, it would be a millimeter. And the same here. What you really want to focus on is inside the green box here. I apologize for, as a Vikings fan to use green and gold on a slide. It kind of burns me, but we'll work with it. So you want to focus on the green box. If you can understand that a thousand is a kilo, a hundred is hecto, one is nothing, one is kind of our base units, 0 0.01 or 10 to the negative second, or one one hundredth is centi, and one one thousandth is milli, We'll kind of work from there. So that kind of explains everything with the metric system. What we'll work on tomorrow is converting units. Uh, how do we convert meters to le uh, meters to millimeters or back and forth? So we'll work on with that in class tomorrow. But there is the metric system, the standard unit of measurement in science.